in ePlan, we can actually import DWG files and work with these DWG files. Now, a little bit different from DWG files, ePlan works with projects. So technically, you start by selecting a template, you give it a project name, let's say uh, project to work on from DWG, and you can store it anywhere you want. This is classical to ePlan, so I'm just going to store it here on my a different drive. You have a possibility to select anything you want here uh, from within your customers. I'm going to go in here and just start the project. So a project comes with some default plot frames, comes with some default symbols that might actually be used, and eventually even some pages that can actually be created already ahead of time in these projects. These projects also come with a project description. So let's say this is uh, project XYZ. Uh, we have here the customer name, the commission, uh, Gemini, let's say. Uh, this is the name here, who actually is the company, who is the creator, etc. And these are properties that only show up once and they show up right away in your title block. Now, the title block is something like this. Here, I created a title block from a DWG file. I just made it smart. So I went here to master data, plot frame. I created my plot frame here. And specifically, where you see these numbers, these numbers can be viewed as properties, numbers, or as descriptions. And they actually select here whether it's a page property or a project property and you can then specify what exactly it could be. So here I'm going to use the modification date um, here, the automatic date. So this means that every time that somebody actually modifies the page, it is registered here. Here I will actually put the project company name. Here I will do the page description. Now in the page description, if you have multiple lines, let's take this one out. Uh, let's see, we can even trim here. Uh, ePlan has wisely called this uh, cut off feature, so I'm just going to trim this off. And I will actually format what we call a text box to limit the size of that text, right, like this. So it should actually fit right in this box here. So whatever I type in the page description, no, that doesn't go over this size. And when you're finished, you close it and you can actually use it here and you can see the uh, schematic description, which is the page description here, which is a little bit too long, fits right in that field. So I have my plot frame, and this plot frame now I can actually fill with regular symbols, and as I fill them with regular symbols, it reacts like usually ePlan reacts with auto-connecting lines. Um, these are auto-connecting lines are very interesting because they save a lot of time when you do your schematics because you don't have to draw them. They ePlan actually draws them. And also interesting is once you have uh, some lines like this and you have to add, let's say, some coils or contacts or whatever, these lines get trimmed and we have automatic cross-referencing, everything. Now, if you have to some DWG files that you want to import, you can simply import them. Let's say here we import this file, this file, this file, this file, one, two, three, four. Let's take these five files, just take a look, you know. So we'll take these five files all at once and we'll manage them inside this project. So here we can actually say, let's put them as they are, page one, two, three, four, five, six, just to see what happens. And here you can see, whoa, I have my page. Looks good. So let's say in ePlan we use this subgroup. Now, I want to renumber these pages because obviously if I actually zoom in here, I have a cross-reference that says M04. So this page should actually be named, if I'm not mistaken, should be named M04. So I have to do some reworking because when I imported them, that was information that was actually missing. So here M04, hmm, is that the right one? Is that the right one? We have two M04s. As you can see, it's a little bit strange on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a renumber feature for it right now. And I'm going to say, okay, you know what? Start at page 10 and we'll just go up like this. And there we go. And I'm going to move these pages inside my structure here. So this way they are just moved in that structure and I can now use them as usual. 
The only thing now that I have to do is maybe do some cleanups. For instance, here, remember, I had created a plot frame. I'm going to use the same plot frame that I just created, so it will make it smart. Now, by making it smart, I don't need the original graphics anymore. I can just get rid of it. So I can basically delete it like this, and you can see now the information comes from the ePlan plot frame and no longer from the imported plot frame. So you may have to do this here and there, depending on you know where you have overwritten text like this. But the interesting part, of course, is that from this point on, you are making this page smart, a smart ePlan page. So this means we have a plot frame that is actually smart, and you don't have to type in anymore text over and over. So if you're telling me that the job number will change, so I'm going to go back to the project here, and this is a smart part, job number, job description here, NFPA something. So I'm going to call it job 12345, and you'll see that the job number appears not only on one page, on the other page, and on the other page. Now, the graphics remain just simple graphics. You want to modify them? These are just simple text or graphics. Now, if you want to add some smarts to it, these are actually ready to go ePlan pages. You can insert right on those pages. If you want to add, let's say, some inputs or whatever, you can put them right in here and just draw as usual. And maybe the only thing we have to do now is consider maybe some layer adjustment where right now your text, when you're considering device tags, these device tags are 2.21 millimeters. In my case, my device tag is attached to an interesting layer concept. It's 2.5. So what I can do is I can open my layers, check out for any given property placement here that has 2.5, sort it out. Right? So I get all the 2.5s, I make them 2.21. There you go, just copy and paste this over. Now, from this point on, you just basically adapted all your ePlan symbols, not only on this page here, but also on the other pages to have exactly the same size as everything else. So if I'm putting in a black box, just as an example here, the black box will have the text exactly the same size as this text here. So if you double click, you will see that the displayed DT is now 221. So this makes it really smart. Now you can actually print it out in one shot like this, print. Uh, you can use it to generate a bill of materials, whatever you want, out of the new stuff that you added into ePlan. So all the smarts are there, of course, based on what was here drawn in a smart way. So this was ePlan and DWG.